nothing is oozing, nothing is open, nothing is fresh. I can put concealer on it at this point and get on with my day. I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys exactly what you would be getting into and exactly what you would look like on day seven. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. No eye makeup, no lashes, no filters, in the raw. I recently had laser eyelid tightening with PRP and I wanna tell you guys all about it because it was amazing. I'm gonna show you the pictures when, as soon as I had it done following my procedure and every day for the next seven days. This is day seven, it is amazing girl run run and book your treatment i have aquaphor on my eyes right now that's why they look shiny i'm gonna come really close to the camera so you guys can see it's a little bit red see right here it's well it's, it's red it's pink it's red okay but this is seven days after i use a laser called ebrium i'm gonna put those proper spelling here because my pronunciation might not be exactly correct, but Ebrium laser. And it's a lot like Fraxel, but it's much safer, okay? And so you go into the office, they numb you under the eye for about 20 minutes, then you go into the room with the laser. It, it's just like a little wand. The procedure takes 15 seconds per eye, that's it. 30 seconds, you're done. So they numb you under the eye, it's really no big deal. They take a little wand and they go under your eye and it goes do, 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 in like a pattern under your eye. It takes about 15 seconds. It does not hurt. It, you will feel it a little bit. My pain tolerance, I would say, is about a medium. It's not high, it's not low. I think I'm just like middle of the road for pain tolerance. It did not hurt me at all. I drove myself to the doctor's office and I drove home. I did not need a Valium. I did not need an anxiety pill, nothing. It was no big deal. They do draw your blood. So she does something that's very modern. She takes your blood and spins it down and gets the rich plasma and the growth hormones out of it. It's called PRP. And it's a very modern way of healing. So um, they draw your blood, they take out uh, your blood, they spin it in this machine, get the growth hormones and the rich plasma for after the treatment. Takes a little wand, she goes underneath your eye in like a grid formation. She puts covers over your eyes. It's not uncomfortable. You can feel it. It's not like an elastic rubber band hitting your skin. If, if any of you have had a tattoo out there, it's nothing like that. The, the machine does make a little sound. It's not like bad, not like super loud. I mean, it's a machine, it's gonna make a noise. It's not that bad at all. And like I said, she just goes over the skin with a little wand in a graph formation under both eyes and she's done. She did this eye first. And she was going on to this side. I said, oh, hang on, wait, wait. I wanted her to really do it good. I'm like, did you do enough? Like, did you go around here? Like, she's like, I'm already done with that eye. I'm like, are you kidding me? She's like, no, I'm going, I'm like, should you, I even said, should you do it again? I mean, I had no idea, right? She's like, no, you're good, you're done. 15 seconds, both eyes. She, the nurse puts the plasma on, which is, you know, your growth hormone and you sit and soak with that on for about 20 minutes. This is really important because your body starts to kick into healing mode immediately. It's sucking in all that rich plasma. It's sucking in the growth hormones to the basically controlled burn under your eyes. Out with that for about 20 minutes. She gave me two prescriptions. One for basically like an antibiotic for uh, cold sores and things like that. Sometimes they can get a blister under their eyes. She wants to avoid all of that. So she gives you uh, medication for that. It's just two pills a couple times a day. I am sensitive to pills. They didn't bother me at all. I didn't have a stomach ache. I couldn't, sometimes I can feel, even if I'm taking a vitamin, I can kind of feel it. I couldn't tell that I had taken the medication or was taking it. Does not hurt your stomach. You're able to still go to the bathroom properly. Number two, I know everybody's always concerned about that. No issues whatsoever with that antibiotic. Also, she gives you a prescription for pain pills. I did not need it. It looked bad. It didn't bother me. 
So I got it done on the Monday after work. I worked all day on Monday, then went to her office. Uh, I was her last client of the day. Got it done at like five o'clock in the afternoon. Drove, drove myself there, drove myself home. It's not like a very big deal. Um, like I said, okay, so backing up. So I got the prescription for the antibiotic in case I blistered. I got a prescription for pain pill, which I did not need. I filled, she's like, please fill both of them just in case you need them. You know, she's a very good doctor. So I did fill both on the, so I got it done on the Monday. Tuesday evening, um, she said, you know, if you, even if you're not in pain, if you feel like irritable in any way, you want to yell at your kids, your husband's driving you nuts or whatever, it might be that it's, you know, bothering you a little bit. So just take uh, the pain meds. Instead, I took two Tylenol and that helped. It wasn't, I, I wasn't in pain. I just felt like irritable. So anyway, Tuesday night, I took two Tylenol. That was it. Got it done Monday at five o'clock. Didn't take anything Monday night. Tuesday night, I did take two Tylenol, like I said. Tuesday when I woke up, I was swollen. I was swollen, my eyes were like, what the hell have you done? And I'm gonna insert pictures. And you know, the thing about this procedure is it looks so bad, but it doesn't feel bad. Like all my friends are like, oh my God, did it hurt? Like you look like you're in pain. It really doesn't hurt. It's just one of those things that looks awful. I'm like, I kept telling people, I'm not in pain. It doesn't hurt. It just looks bad. Monday with my two prescriptions. And she also gives you the leftover PRP in a syringe, not a needle syringe, just a basic syringe. You take the cap off the bottom and you apply it to your eye. So what you do is you bring your PRP, which has your plasma and your growth hormone in it. You put it in your fridge and then you need to use it a few times a day, which is very simple to do. So when I, after I would clean my eyes, I would take the PRP out of the fridge and take the little cap off the end and just apply it to under the eyes. And your body goes and just sucks it in. It's incredible. And obviously that's really like hyper, putting your body into hyper mode to heal. And I think that's why I healed so fast. Because in the thick of it, I thought I was gonna look like crap for like weeks and weeks. I'm like, whoa, what did I sign up for? Nope, you heal so fast, it's unbelievable. Keep the PRP in the fridge and you put it on a few times a day. Starting on Tuesday, I started oozing a little bit. So there was a little bit of ooze. It kind of had a green yellow tint to it. Absolutely 100% normal. And this is just the body healing. Makeup removers, the round pads, I would get those, soak them with the PRP. You keep it in the fridge so it's cold. And then I would apply it to the eyes for a few minutes every day. I'm telling you, that was heaven because your skin is warm. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's hot, but your skin is warm. It's like, think of the worst sunburn you've ever had. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as the worst sunburn you've ever had. But what the laser is, is a controlled burn under the eye. I would put the PRP on a couple times a day. That really helps. Also, you use Aquaphor. Aquaphor becomes your best friend. The one thing they say is you do not want to let the eyes dry out. You do not want to let the area dry out. You want to keep your Aquaphor on at all times. And so I had no problem sleeping at night. Not, none at all, none at all. I didn't have to sleep propped up. None of that nonsense. I'm a side sleeper. Part of my Aquaphor and a little bit of the goo would go on my pillowcase. I would just change it the next day. And in the morning, just make sure you clean it, put fresh Aquaphor on, like no big deal. I had no problem sleeping. Was I able to work? Yes. Did I, was I able to drive? Yes. Was I able to, my, this did not affect my social calendar whatsoever. I got it done on a Monday. I went out Wednesday night, girls night out. It was already on my calendar. And so I didn't want to cancel with my girlfriends. We went to a restaurant. I just wore light colored sunglasses, sunglasses that have like a very uh, light lens. So, you know, it, just to mask it a little bit, worked fine. I mean, you know, it was no big deal. Took my daughter to all her practices, just wore my sunglasses. I was able to wear my contact lenses, get them in, no problem. This is not like a blepharoplasty, you know what I mean? Your eyes, you can drive, you can do everything you need to do, grocery store. This is not something that, that uh, keeps you down. I just kept my glasses on. They had no idea. Like only if you lift your sunglasses does anybody know what's going on, right? So I just had my sunglasses on, no big deal. And you know, that's how I dealt with it. The top layer of skin starts to slough off. See that little bit of skin? So that's how your skin sloughs off. Really little pieces and it, it's like beige brown looking. 
do not want to pick your skin you do not want to pick at it you do not want to scratch it nothing let it come off on its own so when it was really loose I would put my ointment on when I could see that the skin was really loose and moving I would just take a q-tip and just help it off I didn't pick I didn't dig. I'm telling you I expected to have results but not incredible results I was just getting to a point of frustration all my concealers I couldn't even wear concealer anymore because I put concealer on, it would go into my fine lines, settle into my wrinkles. It actually highlighted all my problem areas. And remember, when you get Botox, Botox is good for crow's feet, but Botox does nothing for under the eyes. So all the under eye crepiness, wrinkles, sun damage, hyperpigmentation, loss of elasticity, like just dull looking skin, there's nothing you can do for that except laser. I filled in this before. I've had Juvederm probably two years ago to fill in tear troughs. This is this is about the skin and the wrinkles under the eyes. This procedure was $800 for the lower laser eyelid tightening with PRP. Um, it was $800 worth every dollar. Okay, another really important bit of information is if you're gonna do this and you are somebody that paddle boards, you live on the beach, you are somebody that doesn't really like to wear sunscreen, um, doesn't like the feel of it, an extra step, you're not interested in it, this is not the procedure for you. Because once you do something like this, and it's such a, a controlled, heavy laser and, and peeling and, and very deep treatment, you are going to be sensitive to hyperpigmentation. What that means is if you get sun damage, you might get a brown spot. Like you, if you are gonna do this, you have to be somebody that wears sunscreen. One of my sisters goes on three beach vacations a year and I'm like, I don't know if this is for you because she is somebody that's always in the sun. Of course, we all have mimosas and afternoon cocktails and oops a daisy, forget about sunscreen. You do not want to burn this area. Once you've had such an extensive treatment, you want to take care of it. You want to use your proper skincare and you want to wear sunscreen every day. This is day seven. So I got it done on Monday. As you can see, like there's red right in here and it's red right in here now nothing is oozing nothing is open nothing is fresh i can put concealer on it at this point and get on with my day i didn't do that because i wanted to show you guys exactly what you would be getting into and exactly what you would look like on day seven but this is what it looks like so obviously you can see a little bit of concealer and I'd be good to go. Like I said, I'm really shiny because I am covered in aquaphor, but I used to have wrinkles that were so bad and so deep and it's like my whole family, they all have the really bad wrinkles that go under the eye and nothing will do anything for it. I don't have that anymore. So Botox app obviously helps with this, but it does nothing for this. Matter of fact, if you sometimes freeze this, Sometimes it would make this worse and more highlighted. And if I went out with my girlfriends and I was dehydrated the next day, it even looked worse. So you can see all those fine lines are gone. covered everything for you cost the procedure what to expect the healing process and all the steps through it um, let me know if you have any questions and I will answer them if I don't have the answer I will message my doctor and find out Fibrium laser similar to Fraxel and she used the depth of 50 microns with 50 coagulation if that means anything to anybody. That doesn't mean anything to me. What I can tell you is that shit was deep <laughs> because I just looked like crazy, uh, you know, for about three or four days, but the results are amazing. So that just means to me, oh my God, it actually worked. I didn't go into a spa. Somebody hit me with a laser. I was slightly pink. No, no, shit went down it made a difference. So I'm so happy with my results. Like I said, if you are in Columbus, Ohio, go see Dr. Roxy. If you are coming to visit here, book it. And um, she actually does a lot of tummy tucks, breast augmentations, 
nose jobs, uh, Brazilian butts. She's like known as the butt girl. She does amazing butts. So if you are coming into Columbus to have something done or you're looking for a surgeon, watch her on Snapchat. She has the most amazing snaps. She takes you into the surgery room, shows you the surgery. The girl gives it up. She shows you the tummy tuck, where she cuts, how she makes her decisions with her patients. She is known for the mommy makeover. She can take somebody like that has had three kids that, I mean, just the body has literally fallen apart and make you look amazing. It's unbelievable. Okay, her Instagram is Roxy Plastic Surgery. And the girl gives it up, like I said. She shows you everything. She And every day she does stories. And so all you have to do is hit the icon with her picture. You just hit that icon and it will start playing the daily story. I think that's it. This is my honest review of my laser eye tightening procedure with the PRP. I'm so happy with it. Um, I didn't expect my results to be so amazing. I did expect to have an improvement, but not like this. So I'm just so thrilled. If you have creepy old lady eyes and you need some help because you want to look your best, go and get your lace. It's worth it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again soon. Bye.